big difference because, um, you know, most of the time with the, uh, other receivers that are across the nation, you know, they don't really do much reading. It's just every route, every play they call is pretty much one route set. But um, with us, from the first day we come in here, you know, we got to start learning how to read plays and um, read defenses. And you know, come from high school, you don't have to do none of that, you know. So that's the biggest thing. So you definitely can't be a dummy in this offense because, uh, first of all, you got to learn how to read, read defenses and then um, – but not just that, once you learn that, then you got to actually learn how to transfer that onto the field and read defense while the defense is moving and fast, you know, because every defense try to disguise things, so you got to learn how to read things on the run. And um, that pretty much what makes this offense special, us, you know, coat in the receiving court, because, um, you know, we, uh, we've been playing with each other for about three years now, and, um, you know, once we do that, you know, we're – we, we pretty much know every move each other's going to do. And, um, you know, actually a receiver in this offense, you got to be just like the quarterback because mm -hmm. you got to know the same reads. You know, you got to read everything just like he does. You know, that's what makes this fun. And, um, you know, we pretty much feel that we perfected it, and uh, that's what makes us go. Do you think Georgia ha having, what, four or five weeks to get ready for you guys, how does that help them prepare for you defensively? Um, well, I don't know. It could work. You know, it could work two different ways. You know, it can it can help them or it can not help them. You know, it can help them because you know uh, maybe they can see a little more. You know, see the tendencies we do or things like that. You know, it can help them or you know maybe it can make it worse for them. You know, for um, you know, having too much time. You know, it's all of a sudden you have too much time and you know the guys thinking too much. You know, doing things that they're not used to. So. You know, it, it works both ways, but um, I mean, pretty much how we feel, you know, it's all about us, you know. Usually it's not about the defense. It's if we're doing our, our stuff right, you know. Um, if we're messing up or not messing up. That's pretty much. Um, how many family and friends are you going to have at the game? Uh, hopefully a, a good amount. I'll be having my mother, uh, two of my brothers, uh, uh, my sister. Uh, then I'll be having on, on my um, wife's side, her mother. Um, her, her brother and her sister. And then I've been having like Buku friends, a lot of coaches that, you know, from high school, they all got tickets. And, you know, it, it's like a homecoming for me almost. Where's your wife from? Um, she's actually from um, Kansas City, but she's my she's actually my high school sweetheart. So we've been together since high school. Oh, okay. Um, when you went away to Hawaii for college, did you ever imagine you'd get this close to home to play a bowl game? Oh, never. Never in my never in my wildest dreams. You know, and, and I mean, I, I, you know, I never thought that I would even be going to the University of Hawaii at that, you know, and doing what we have done this year, you know. So I mean, I've been blessed, man. I've been so blessed. I'm just thankful. Why didn't you think you would be going there? Just because you were doing the JUCO route? Um, no, nah, I went the JUCO route, you know, and the, the thing thing about it was, like, like we we really didn't take Hawaii serious, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I tried to go through every other door, and that was like my last option, you know. And I wanted to take my visit because you know, a guy from Mississippi going to Hawaii as so a chance of a lifetime for mm -hmm. me to get that one visit, you know. But end up a lot of other doors end up getting shut, you know, and I end up going to University of Hawaii, which is the best thing that ever happened to me in my life, you know. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it's it's helped me on the field and off the field in so many different ways. Did you? So when you went to visit there, was it just kind of like, well, I'll make this real cool trip, but I'm going to wind up somewhere else? Yeah, that's, that's, exactly, what I, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to make this trip because, like I said, it's a trip of a lifetime. And then end up being the school I signed with. Now mm -hmm. I've been so blessed to be this school, you know. Getting into it. Do you have any sense of what this next week is going to be like? Well, before we came over, you warned us already about how um, it's going to be way different from uh, the reporters back in Hawaii and uh, – just the, the media and the magnitude of the game is going to be very, very incredible and very different from all the other games that we've been playing in. So you just said just be ready for it. anything that comes your way. What thing is there? Is a uh, casino across the street. Yeah. Uh, have y'all been told stay out, go yeah. if you want to, or what? He, he told he told us about the casinos that you you should like try to stay away from all the all the things that you shouldn't be around. And just he, he knows that he trusts us to do what we're supposed to do. And uh, he knows that this is a business trip, and we're trying to act like it's a business trip. Did he specifically say players can't go to the casinos or what? Uh, he, he mentioned it earlier in the week and some, sometimes, but he, he didn't really actually say it. So. Okay. Because the reason we ask is because Georgia players have been told they can't go. Yeah. yeah he, he told us like, earlier in the week, like, stay away from all, all things. Like, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's use your judgment? Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to stay away from it yeah, easily. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're supposed to not go anywhere, uh, go over there anyway. Tell us before the whole season started that keep away from casinos, so 
That's what we're going to do. You say all things. What are all things? You know, he just trusts us. And uh, you, you could look around the whole scenery around here, but just don't get carried away. Can you put yourself in the position of players who come out to play y'all and they get distracted? Uh, probably <laughs> most likely, you know. But, you know, we just try to keep our distance from major stuff. So, no, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, you've been here about a day now. Uh, what you do, I know some of the guys went out to the mall. And, um, are you a mall guy or what, what did you spend the day doing today? Oh, yeah, I went to the mall today. You know, it's, it's uh, just to see uh, different things around, around this uh, environment. And uh, the bunch of teammates went to the mall and just looked around and we seen uh, some memorabilia over there, some sugar bowl stuff and we bought some stuff. So a nice day after Christmas sale? Yeah, so a nice day after Christmas sale. Which one? Um, I guess it's the river. River walk? Yeah, river walk. Okay. How, how long, I know one thing they were talking about though was when you got here they wanted you all to take a nap. And how long did it, did you get, get a good nap in when you got here? Or? Yeah, I got a good nap. I think right when I got my luggage I just went straight up there and just hit the bed and you know, rest it up because I didn't get no sleep on the plane. <laughs> Just the play and the play, you know, kind of share what, what you guys are all about. Yeah, the our whole team is excited about the this national stage. You know, it gets to show uh, what uh, our Hawaii football team can do, and uh, it shows our what kind of culture that we have. We have a very diverse culture around here in Hawaii, and uh, uh, it's uh, bring all all those cultures together and represent one uh, one team is just amazing. One thing I noticed, the atmosphere at your game is a little different from any place else. How much does that, do y'all feed off of that? Uh, we, we feed off a lot because we, we've been to the, uh, the games on the mainland and we've seen what kind of fans they have and it is very, very intense. And uh, when we come to the islands, you know, we, we since uh, Hawaii doesn't have a pro football team, you know, we're considered as a pro fo football team for them. And uh, it's just amazing just to uh, represent uh, people in Hawaii, uh, you know, they expect us to represent them, and we, that's what we're doing right now. Now, you grew up in, in California. Well, tell us about how you deal with, I mean, in the past when you've flown over here to play La Tech and all that sort of stuff, how have you dealt with the, the jet lag and everything? Um, I don't know. It's been pretty good. I mean, it's probably just now because the practices that we've been through and stuff, seven days, you know, a week, and um, it's just kind of like our little moment where we rest a little bit and get to um, go sightseeing and stuff. So, I mean, it's not that bad. Right now, it's just like something that we're used to and yeah. stuff. So. How much are you going to be able to sightsee? How much are, are you going to be able to spend time in the city? Um, probably tomorrow, a little, a little bit of time in the, in the in the morning, and then probably at night and stuff. But yeah. I, I'm sure this won't be the first time or the last time you're asked about this, but you're always the guy that they show when you do the the Haka Warrior dance. If you could talk a little bit about it, it would have been see you all why you do it. Um, well. We've been doing the haka, which is a Maori dance, it's a war chant and stuff. And that was in the past, and now we like we do something called the ha'a. It's like a Hawaiian thing, so it changed over, you know, because we're in Hawaii and we're representing Hawaii, so we want to do something that's Hawaiian. So yeah, it's the main thing, and um, it's just a, a dance for us to to like bring unity uh, um, to the team, to the players as one, right before we play a game, because you want to be, you know, everybody to be on the same page and stuff. So basically, it's one thing to get us all focused together. Do you find that other fans? Like seeing it, don't like seeing it. Do they ask you about it? Do the players ask about it? Well, I mean, yeah, a lot of people like it. I know from back home and stuff, and from the talk and stuff. I mean, people are interested in seeing it, like ESPN and so on. But um, yeah, I think I think they appreciate it. Something different and something special that um, separates us from the rest of the teams. Do you have any idea where the second line dance is here? You can try that while you're here instead of your hockey dance. Oh, uh, probably not. But um, <laughs> just for fun, maybe. Yeah. Can you relate to teams that come over to the islands <clears throat> that are faced with a lot of potential distractions? Now you're in a city that offers a lot of maybe different types of distractions but the same type of thing. Yeah, I mean, well, it comes down to the players and the team and the coaches, you know, like what do you want out of this? You know, what is your goal? What is your reason why you're here? Mm -hmm. And our reason is to, to play football and um, hopefully come out with a win. So, I mean, all the other things you should enjoy. I mean, you know, this is a great opportunity and a blessing and stuff to be in the DCS. And, yeah, I mean, just stay focused, but you can still have your fun. Mm -hmm. Too much of something is always bad, right? Yeah, so, yeah.